Well, I've gone about just as far as I'm willing to take this car out here. The sand is getting way too soft for the tires. So I just got myself in a little bit of trouble here. I was drove up there and I got stuck. Like I just reversed and going forward, I couldn't move. Beneath the luminous desert sky, Dubai's nocturnal streets come alive, a spectacle of lights and architectural marvels. The skyline, a testament to human ingenuity, stands tall against the night. Walking through this metropolis after dark is an immersive experience, where the neon lights of commerce and culture paint the cityscape with vibrant hues. Dubai is not just a city, it's a narrative unfolding in the dark where the streets whisper stories of ambition, diversity, and dreams. As I navigate through this urban dreamscape, there's a tranquility in the midst of the vibrant energy. The city becomes a canvas, painted with the dreams of those who built it. Dubai's nighttime streets offer more than a physical journey. They invite a contemplative exploration of the dreams and aspirations that define this dazzling cityscape. So my goal for the day is to try and visit as many places in Dubai as I can. I'm heading back to Abu Dhabi tonight because I have to catch the flight. So unfortunately my time here is limited and I'm going to try and cram as much as I can in. So real quick, yesterday when I was at the mall I went to um, one of the grocery stores and I picked up this uh, beverage that I've never seen before. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Hmm, it's interesting. It does have uh, a pretty good blend of all the flavors, peach, ginger, and chai. You could say I'm a big urban exploration enthusiast. Back during my Hong Kong days, I explored a lot of abandoned locations. I was quite excited when I heard of an abandoned village that is slowly becoming consumed by the desert. As a disclaimer, I do not recommend driving out to this village unless you are well equipped with a proper vehicle. Do not do what I did. Some guy in a truck, he's <laughs> just like, he's like, good luck. Uh, yeah. Um, so far, so good. I just got a bunch of sand in my eye by rolling down the window and uh, sticking it out the door. Well, I've gone about just as far as I'm willing to take this car out here. The sand is getting way too soft for the tires. I got stuck a little bit over there. Not really stuck, just kind of uh, spinning tires, you know. Luckily, I still was able to get through. It's likely this village was abandoned because of the frequent sandstorms that sweep over the area. As I walked through the desert, it was almost impossible to keep the sand out of my eyes. There are some more mysterious rumors that claim paranormal activity was present in this village. Some say the town is home to jinns, or supernatural spirits that are common in Arab lore. Some tales place the blame directly on a female djinn that is said to have cat eyes and machetes for hands. While the town did have an eerie vibe, I didn't observe anything paranormal during my time here. Well, as fascinating as this place is, I have a lot on the itinerary today, so let's head back to the car. So I just got myself in a little bit of trouble here. I was drove up there and I got stuck, like I just, reversing going forward, it couldn't move. Um, 
a guy from Su Sudan pulled up here with his truck and uh, he was gonna call his friend with a shovel. Luckily, I, I had placed like some branches that I had found on the ground underneath the wheels and it gave me enough leverage to pull myself out. But, uh, man, with all the wind here, this car is completely full of sand. Anyway, hopefully, the reason why I got um, into that situation was because I kind of went off the road. Uh, it's hard to tell where the road is exactly, so. Um, anyway, hopefully I can make it out here without getting any more stuck. All right. Unfortunately, I'm still a bit lost here. All right, uh, what's your name again? Yasir Yasir. Yas, Yasir yeah. Yasir. Okay, this is Yasir Yasir. Yasir Yusuf, yeah. He, he helped me get out of the sand here, so I really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's just okay. small channel, but do, do you watch YouTube? Uh, what to say? Do you, you watch YouTube? I YouTube? I haven't. I you haven't? Don't, uh, I got, because we work, we work in desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Do. You're right. All right. Okay. All right. At good time for you. And I went. Uh, your telephone you have? Telephone I got. Yeah. Okay. Ah. لا لا ماني رايح خلاص هو راجع. هو قال بيرجع طوال. All right. So if you're watching this and you're like, you made the dumbest decision I have ever heard in my life by driving a. Uh, a front wheel drive vehicle into the desert. Um, in my defense, most of the road was like this. It's flat, it's easy to drive on. My problem was I just took a little bit of a, a wrong turn. In the heart of Dubai, the old souk stands as a testament to the city's rich history, a tapestry woven with the threads of tradition and commerce. The narrow alleys, lined with weathered sandstone walls, exude a timeless aura. Traditional wooden stalls adorned with vibrant textiles and trinkets beckon passers-by into a world where craftsmanship and heritage intermingle. As I navigate through the old souk, the echoes of the past become palpable. The time-worn architecture, with its wind towers and wooden lattice screens, stands as a nod to the city's roots as a trading hub. How many grams you want this box? This box? Uh, probably the the bigger one. Bigger one. So yeah, how many how many grams can fit in? This is very good for your family. Everything you some sharing. You have some more big one you want with this one, okay? This one should be okay. You want a little more big one? Uh, okay. I'll yeah. Give, a little more give me a bigger one. Yeah, I'll take a bigger one. Okay, so uh, can I can I put like half this and half the menthol crystal or which one? Okay, little, little this little. No, yeah, no problem. Half half. Yeah. Okay. This box? No. You want this? This I give you all this. Okay. okay. So how much per gram for this? One? This I give gram for three gram. One gram for three gram. I'm selling one gram five gram, but I give you forty one gram three gram. Okay. Rose quartz. Yeah. The heart shape. And jade. Jade. Green jade. Yeah, I'm familiar with jade. Yes. I see. And you know this one, sir? No, I don't know that one. It's very famous. That's a... Uh, Moonstone. Moonstone? Yes. What is, what is this? What's the benefit Moonstone, of Moonstone. Happy life, happiness. Oh. It's fluoride. This uh -huh. green fluoride. This is for success. Uh -huh. Success in your business, in life. If you have some hope, they will do. Obviously spending way too much money here. See, nice people like me, we get taken advantage of really easily here. <laughs> I, I think the first shop I, I really regret spending as much as I did. I, don't, I really did not bargain it down as low as I could have gone. Um, 
I, I definitely spent like way too much on that thing. The other shops, I got them down pretty low. Um, like that that clothing thing, he, he tried to sell it to me for like 3,000 or something. Oh, it was really expensive, like a thousand USD maybe. I got them down to maybe like 150 USD, um, which I still feel like is really expensive, but I couldn't get them to go any lower than that. And when you're when you're bargaining, there kind of comes a point where you know if they know other tourists are going to pay this much money for it, then they're not going to go any lower. So I think that might be the lowest for this place. It's it's not a cheap place like Malaysia. Malaysia, you can get things pretty cheap. Probably not as much so here. This place is quite incredible. Over here, there's a really great view of. I don't know what this is, like a river going through the city, I guess. The canal, maybe. You've got, uh, looks like a dining ship over there. And then uh, several other ships over there. You know, yesterday was kind of a rough day for me, but now that I'm here and kind of the adventures that I've had, it's been a really enjoyable experience and I'm having a really good time. As much as I want to keep exploring this place, <laughs> I've got to head back to Abu Dhabi in a couple more hours. Wasted too much time getting stuck in the sand and uh, cleaning the car afterwards, so I think I'll just take a quick pass through here and then head on to the next location. Well, it has been quite an exhausting day. I'm finally back at the apartment. I'm gonna go one more place. I wanna check out the metro system that they have here, and then I'm gonna write it down a few stops and check out some of the luxury car dealerships because I really like cars and I have seen quite a few Bugattis for sale over here. So I've only got like an hour and a half before I need to get out of here and head to the airport. It's about like a hundred kilometers so I'm assuming it should be at least an hour drive to um, the airport. Anyway I'm wasting time. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Veyrons in this place than I've ever seen in my entire life. I've always actually, I've never seen one before and there's like four or five in here. I don't have any words to describe how amazing that car dealership is. Like that was a better car show than the car show that was in San Francisco. And I didn't even go to it. I just watched a YouTuber's video. Um, oh man, and there's another one here. This is a separate one. Basically this street, like miles, I think like up five miles or so, has all of these luxury car dealerships and it's just insane. There's so much money coming in and out of Dubai, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how people do it. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go find something to eat. I'm starving. Literally have not eaten the entire day. I think there were some restaurants near to that uh, car dealership I was just in. So I'm gonna grab a quick bite, head home and shower, and then uh, head to Turkey. Nothing too wild here, just a regular spaghetti. Regular spaghetti. But tastes good since I've had nothing today. <laughs> well, I am back home and ready to head out. 
Hope you guys enjoyed watching this Dubai series. Click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.